Now, drinking wine is an old, old thing. You'd rather have a queen and even the king of Egypt used to sip it now and then. But they didn't get up and fall on the floor or turn and run smack into a door like some of these modern wine drinking men. They drank their wine from a silver mug instead of some old two-bit jug and always knew when they'd had enough. And the wine they drank was mighty fine, just like the juice right off the vine, not anything like some of this new green stuff. Now nobody's gonna call you a sinner if you drink a glass or two before dinner, and nobody's gonna think you're out of line. But if you're a man that likes to drink and you want to get to where you can't think, I'm telling you now, buddy, stay off of that wine. Buddy, stay off of that wine. Although it makes you feel mighty fine. You can drink gin and beer, that's good. You can drink liquor, and wood. But buddy, stay off of that wine. I saw a feller on the street one day mooching everybody that got in his way and I could tell that that boy wasn't well. So I took him to joint to buy him a drink, I ordered a shot, and what do you think? That character ordered a glass of muscatel. So I said, boy, you lose your mind if you don't quit drinking that ten cent wine and you wind up the gutter just as well. But he got up with a stupid grin and used his sleeve to wipe his chin and when he walked away he almost fell. Buddy, stay off of that wine. Although it makes you feel mighty fine. You can drink gin and beer, that's good. You can drink liquor, and wood. But buddy, stay off of that wine. So if you find you're craving the stuff, and that means you've had more than enough, and that means you're right on the danger line. So when you start to buy a drink, just take time out and start to think and remember, buddy, stay off of that wine. Buddy, stay off of that wine. Although it makes you feel mighty fine. You can drink gin and beer, that's good. You can drink liquor, and wood. But buddy, stay off of that wine.